Welcome back. This is continuing along with writing up our SOAP note. In the previous video, we covered how to chart within reason for visit and review systems for all of your subjective information. And as far as putting in your objective findings, once you're within SOAP, you'll see vital signs, which is also easily available by hovering over weight. You'll get today's as well as a few others. Within vital signs, you'll also get a history feature, which will show you all of the vitals we have on file, along with a graph component, which then allows you to spot any trends in blood pressure, height, weight, body mass index. Beyond that, if you double click within vital signs and notice that there's a purple audiometry exam or purple vision screening, it just means information's within there. So by clicking on the audiometry exam, you can then view the results or same thing with the vision screening. Now let's say a patient had come in with elevated blood pressure and you did a repeat blood pressure. In that case, you would then hit add and you would just fill in the appropriate findings and then hit save and close. And that's just the quickest way to add in new vital signs other than the ones that were already inputted during the initial workup. If you ever wanted to remove any vital signs you inputted, you'll just highlight and hit remove. Beyond the vital signs is the physical exam template, and this is where you'll put in your objective findings. This is also an area where you would view the results of an audiometry exam or a vision screening. It's just presented in this manner here versus how it was presented within vital signs. So this is a more quick view of those results. Besides that, within the physical exam, you're always going to want to start off with this one page exam. This is going to give you a generic view of all your bodily systems and all these small boxes. By clicking them in, you're saying that they're normal findings. NextGen gives you some generic abnormal findings once you click in the larger boxes. And then if you close out or hit escape, you can then free text anything within here. But keep in mind that all of these larger boxes are character limited. So I recommend just going through, clicking all your normal findings. And once you want to start free texting about an abnormal skin finding, for example, you'll just click on skin and head straight for the comments box to just free text your findings, save and close. And that same concept applies to any other bodily system. Just click on the blue link, head for the comments box to free text your findings, and then just click in the normal ones with the small boxes and hit save and close. So in quick review, your objective findings, you'll see your vital signs present within this SOAP note. You can add in new ones by going to add. You can spot their history of vitals here or any trends within graph. By double clicking within vital signs, you can also access the audiometry or vision screening results, which will also appear within your physical exam. And then keep in mind, once you want to start charting your physical exam, start off with the one page, click in your abnormals, and then jump into the relevant system to then access that comments box and free text your abnormal findings. All right, thank you very much for your time.